Hi, this is Daniel from Bomb Inventions and I'm very glad you found this video because this is very special and this is a very nice device. You will see it later in another video. This is the first video of a series. Today I will show you how to assemble this kit. It's quite simple, but first I will introduce it to you. This is a small series of sequencer or monophonic synthesizer or polyphonic synthesizer or drum computer all based on the same boards and you will assemble them all the same way the only difference is the sequencer board will get some different leds but i'll show it to you later they all come very nice packed and with manuals which explain every feature this is very great and the guys behind this project are very great too. They are very nice and it's worth supporting them and also it's worth buying those kits. In my opinion this is a quite unique system of constructing your own synthesizer like in a Lego system. You plug them together, the sequencer can sequence all the three modules and the only difference between the modules is you can put another chip inside of it and it will take the function of another module and it's pretty not in part intensive it's very simple system it's reduced to the minimum it does what it should do pretty well of yeah it's uh, for experimental music but you can use it for normal music for music making on the go it's quite unique and pretty simple. Uh, I prefer the variation without the front and the back panel because I like the look of the electronics and it's pretty nice when you can touch some contacts and it will change the sound, which is not intended to be, but it's. I will show it to you in, the, in some other video when I will explain all the features of those devices. We will we will start the assembly while sorting all the parts. It's much easier to have all the parts sorted r lying around you. And this is the first step we will start with. You really don't need much to assemble those kits. Just a soldering iron, some solder and a wire clipper. This sh uh, must be enough. It's pretty pretty simple. The kit is soldered from both sides. You have to start with the component side uh, and it's a good tip to start with the smallest components and go to the bigger components. Start with resistors and uh, diodes and end with bigger ones like capacitors and uh, the power jack and uh, the headphone jack. It's pretty simple. Yeah, I cannot say it enough. It's pretty, pretty simple. All the parts are clearly labeled on the circuit board. The polarity of the capacitors is clearly labeled, the diode is clearly labeled. The switch is clearly labeled too. The switch switches between the 9 volt battery and the DC power jack. If one of them is not connected, it is off in one position. The only difference between the boards is that the sequencer board has three single red LEDs instead of a multicolor RGB LED and but you can use it also as a other device because the function is the same just the look is a little bit different so you can use it better better as a sequencer but you can also use it as all the other uh, boards it's no problem at all you can also use the sequencer in a multicolor RGB LED module other LEDs mean other resistors. Below the socket for the IC are resistors marked with X and Y. On the sequencer, all of them, all X and Y, are 1K. And on the other modules, when you have the multicolor RGB LED, the Y resistors are 15K resistors. That's the only difference. After you have built it, you can immediately start using it by turning it simply on and turning knobs and pushing buttons. If it doesn't work properly, turn it off, hold all the three big buttons and turn it on, hold the buttons. It should do a clear of the memory, release the buttons and it should run properly. It is no problem at all. It works really great and after a short period of getting used to it, it works really great. I will release another video where you have 
the possibility to learn with me all the functions of this devices. It's quite a lot of fun, I will promise you. This is so great. Those devices are really, really awesome. And I want to thank you, those guys to, for inventing them. It's pretty great. Those are great devices. For more information, please look in the description below. And uh, we will see us in the next video, where I explain all of the nice sound features. Bye.